What's up YouTube, it's Sploosh here, and I'm bringing you some Battlefield gameplay. I Play, uh, played this game I think like a week ago on it's, uh, Headquarters uh, Metro. We do not have B, which most people would say is a really bad thing, and I would agree with you. Not only that, but most people would say this is the bad side. Um, but I think this is pretty interesting gameplay. This is going to be video one of a series I'm going to do, which I would call Teamwork is Overpowered. Notice there what I do. I know that if I just started firing right there, I would be dead. And uh, I just want, it, it should be obvious that, just so you know, when, we, when you're watching this video, we're not, uh, this is not some kind of easy opponent. I don't, I don't think these guys are great either, but we're certainly not winning. Uh... But it, it, you know, uh, the things you see here are all very good tactics. I haven't, I, I kind of don't remember very much about this video, so I'm kind of watching it just like you are. Yep. But I like what I see so far. Um, oh, oh, that was close. A good teammate saved me. Uh, I think the 249 is my favorite gun in the game. I want to talk to you guys today too about gun statistics there is a website that has all the stats and anyone that plays any first person shooter should always know what the best guns are and you know uh what makes a gun the best gun well uh let's see you've got the how much bullet damage there is you've got the rate of fire and then you've got to calculate time to kill which is how long it takes for your gun to kill somebody you know, obviously range and all that stuff comes into play. But what you're going to notice with uh, with the guns in this game, and, and it kind of reminds me of the game Black Ops, is that a lot of the guns do the same damage. Like, basically all the pistols do the same damage at the same range with the same rate of fire. Uh, but I kind of like that. I don't know. I think it's it, it helps to balance the game out. But there's definitely some guns that come ahead of everybody else. Just when it comes to pistols, you've basically got the, the semi-autos, which are all the same and I think are the best. You've got the revolvers. I have the revolver from co-op, and I'm, I can't really say that I love it that much. It doesn't have a flashlight, which kind of sucks, because flashlights are kind of OP at close range. Because they're just so stupid, bl stupidly blinding. If someone flashlights you at an angle, uh, they, they tend to win. Oy. So, uh... Pushing on B, I guess we're doing pretty good. This is a pretty valiant effort. I think one of the best decisions I make right here is I go to a corner. It's always easy to uh, fight, uh, win a firefight when you only have to cover a few corners. If you're coming in, if they're coming in from all different angles, it's going to be tough to win that fight. And uh, so I think the the winning decision we made was to go where we are right now. It's a great decision, and then it allows us to push up in a line. Um, you know, try to notice throughout the video how I shoot the gun. The the reason this gun is so amazing is you can kind of hold the trigger down and relatively control the recoil. The only thing I've noticed about this game, unlike like a Call of Duty, it's like in a Call of Duty if you're ADSing and you hold the trigger down, you pretty much get a perfect stream of bullets the whole time. What what balances out that stream of bullets is. Uh, the fact that the gun shakes all over the place so it kind of forces you to not hold the trigger down. In this game, the, ga the guns do shake all over the place but they also don't quite go straight. Um, you'll notice that when I'm shooting at people past let's say 20 rounds it starts to take a lot of bullets to kill because uh, the bullet, even though I'm aiming perfectly the gun is not aiming perfectly. It's all over the place. So I have to kind of teach myself to, after so many bullets to just stop firing, wait a second, and then start firing again. Which is, you know, that's about the same thing as me trying to learn how to stop drop shotting. I just do it. I can't help it. But uh, what you're noticing here uh, is part of my white team works overpowered system. I'm, I'm hugging this corner, which is, allows my medic to keep reviving me without any danger to himself. And... I get a lot of kills while covering my sector here, and uh, this is extremely 
productive gameplay, and uh, I just wish every game could be like this. It would be pretty awesome, but the job of the medic is pretty much to cover our flank. If we get flanked, we're both dead. Luckily on this map, it's nearly impossible to be flanked from this position. The only spot would be the locker room, but our team's kind of got that on lock, and there's always someone wanting to, to camp that side of the map. It can happen, but it pretty sure it doesn't in this gameplay. Uh, you know, I'm, ki I'm kind of vulnerable to snipers, but, you know, I could do different things. I, I'm not really forced you too much to change it up, but I could, you know, instead of crawling around this corner, I could come up high behind the things or, you know, step back a bit and then come in high and faster and then put suppressive fire on the sniper. I like to use the suppressive uh, kit when I'm playing uh, support because they already suppress anyway so you might as well just double suppress them it's pretty good against snipers too because even if you're kinda like missing the sniper his screen will just go all bl blurry and he won't be able to really hit you I think his screen will even shake a little or something uh, squad support would, would be great once I get it I, I'm really close actually right now why don't we talk about the gun strength uh, the absolute best gun in the game Apparently it's the 240B support uh, gun. I'm really excited to try it out. I hear though it has massive recoil, and I imagine that's how they balanced it. They made it crazy hardcore killer, but made it jump all over the place. Uh, the 240B kills in I guess like 1 1.6 seconds, uh, or I'm sorry, 0.16 seconds. Uh, not exactly sure how relative that is. I guess it's like. Um, you know, under two milliseconds it kills if you aim perfectly. Uh, this is the close range stats, but they all kind of scale. Uh, then the second gun, the most fast, the fastest killing gun in the game is actually the Scar H, which I guess didn't surprise many people since it, it's very. Uh, it's, a, it's kind of a gun that has a lot of uh, popular criticism because of how good it is. People have this idea that it kills in two bullets. I think statistically that's possible with headshots. But, I mean, if someone's killing you close range with headshots, you deserve to die anyway. But I kind of have to agree that the Scar should probably be nerfed because as a longtime Battlefield player, and someone who's played it since Battlefield 1942 in competitive matches, I can tell you that the Engineer was never meant to be a class that kills people really well. It's... It, it, in Battlefield 2, they kind of went actually into a brave new world where they gave engineers actual guns, but they never were good guns at range, and they never outclassed these, uh, the true support guns. The support gun would always win in a statistical fight. So it's interesting that they suddenly have the best gun in the game, basically, because no, no one even people... You could argue, I don't know yet, but the 240B could be trash, so then that leaves the Scar as the best gun in the game. And that stat is uh, 0.2 milliseconds uh, for kill. The um, third best gun in the game, or two of them actually, are actually come to a bit of a surprise to me. Uh, there's the uh, KH... 2002, which I guess is some kind of burst gun you get in co-op. It's really easy to get. There's actually a trick in co-op where if you go to the last mission and you go to the first bomb plant and you purposely lose, you get a lot of points really fast in like three minutes. Or what I did with a friend is we actually succeeded on the bomb and then Bonsai charged into like 12 enemies, usually killed 11 of them and then let the last guy stab us and that got us like 7,000 points in like three and a half minutes. Just a tip if you guys want to get a friend and go get your points. I, I guess it's a burst gun and I've been told it's really good. Uh, but it's a medic only gun, pretty sure, right? And so the next gun that's really good, equal to this gun, the KH, is the F2000, which is another surprise to me. Usually the F2000 sucks in every game that I've ever played. So that's kind of neat. Um, the F2000, I, I saw a Wings of, Redemption, Wings of Redemption video, and he said he really liked the uh, F2000. So I guess that's no surprise, since it would fall in as the statistically third best gun in the game at 
two, one, two milliseconds. And then the last guns I'm gonna mention, I guess that comes in at number four, is a huge like million way tie. I'm not even gonna calculate it, but basically you got the A91, which is a engineer gun, which uh, is no surprise to me. The gun's great, has like very little recoil too. Uh, I kind of, again, have to say that seems a little lame that engineers have a really good gun. And then all of the M16 variants, like M4, M16A1, uh, A3, A4, they're all tied. With and, and the stat on that is .225. So there you go. If you're not using, uh, you know, those guns, then you're doing it wrong. Uh, all the other guns are slower. What what this is just just very interesting because that basically means engineer and assault have the same killing power, and then uh, the 249 that I'm using right now also comes in at a 2.225 killing rate, well, let me you. so that puts it even with all the other classes. Uh, so you know, uh, so there you go. That's the guns. If you stick to those guns, guys. Oh fuck you! Oh, that was pretty good. Shooting right there. Ceramic saving me. I think he was pistol whipping there. I think it's kind of funny uh, that the SCAR is like the best gun because I used it a lot in the beta and it sucked there. It had crazy recoil. Just wasn't a good gun. But I've been in a million betas and uh, one thing you learn from being in betas is that, uh, you know, the gun in the beta or, or whatever it is, maybe it's a World of Warcraft class or something, if it sucks in the beta, it might be overpowered in release. And if it's overpowered in beta, it'll probably be underpowered on release. It's just the way gaming is. This is insanity! I don't know why gaming companies tend to go into extremes, but, you know, I guess they figure they can always patch it if it's not good. It's always funny, though, how people figure these things out, you know? You can't really hide anything to, you know, five million customers. So there you go. I gave you the stats. This game's winding down. I think I'm just going to call it. You can watch the slaughter. And then stay, uh, stay, keep the video going till the very end because there's a fun little, uh, message I get at the end. Uh, he's, I guess the guy that sent the message was first place on the opposing team. And I think he was pretty upset. So, uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to do some more. To be quite honest, I'd rather have done like a helicopter video or a tank video because I find them to be really exciting for me and I just enjoy flying a helicopter so much and dominating a tank is pretty fun too but I wanted to throw this one out because I wanted to get it in before the scar gets nerfed and I wanted to help you guys out with guns and, you know your gun on gun and the stats with that so I figured it was kind of timely to start with this video and you know it's kind of Maybe using Metro is like kind of cheating because there's no vehicles. So gun on gun's a little boring and dry because it's just gun on gun. <laughs> there's not like any vehicles to keep me busy. But that being said, I think this was a great gameplay and it shows um, the difference between tapping and semi-auto fire and going full auto and the effect and impact of how to win a gunfight. And it definitely shows the way a medic can be really good. I've seen people actually argue that... Um, Assault is very underplayed, and uh, I agree it's a tough class, but you should always have like one support in your squad, in my opinion. So thanks for watching. This is Sploosh out. Love you all. Subscribe if you haven't. Bye. That was a lot of fun.